Linda Sue Park, an American author. Born on March 25, 1960, in Urbana, Illinois, Linda Sue Park is the daughter of Korean immigrants Jung Won Ed and Susie Kim, whose real Korean names are Nobuo and Jung Suk. Her parents migrated to the United States in the 1950s following World War II. Wanting their children to succeed in the United States, English was only spoken at home and just a few Korean traditions were celebrated. Park was introduced to American culture through books. As a young child, her father would take her to the library every two weeks. Due to these visits, Park became what she calls a maniacal reader. Park read everything from Nancy Drew mysteries to award-winning children's books. Some of her all-time favorite writers were Laura Ingalls Wilder, author of the Little House series and award-winning author E. L. Coingsburg. Park soon became passionate about reading and writing. By the young age of nine, Park published her first poem in the 1969 winter issue of Trailblazer magazine. The poem was a haiku, a traditional form of Japanese nature poetry, in which she was paid one dollar in the form of a check. Park continued to publish in children's magazines throughout her primary and secondary schooling years. Upon graduating high school, Park attended Stanford University in Palo Alto, California, where she majored in English. Park took a job as a public relations writer for a major oil company, and after two years with the company, she left her job and moved to Dublin, where she met her future husband. Park continued to study literature and obtained degrees from Trinity College Dublin and from the University of London. Park eventually had two children, Sean and Anna, and worked numerous jobs before becoming an author of children's books. According to Park, she does not recall any particular moment of inspiration, but says that everything she has ever done has revolved around reading and writing. Her encouragement along the way has always been her parents, a couple of teachers, and presently her husband. Park says she gets her ideas from her surroundings and needs to feel obsessed about something in order to want to spend so much time writing and thinking about it. Her craft. Park's craft is a combination of poetry, picture books, mid-grade novels, short stories, and historical fiction. A lot of her books revolve around the, her Korean heritage. Her books feature characteristic elements of Korean culture, including celadon pottery from a single shard, Korean food from bibimbap, silkworms from Project Mulberry, kite fighting from the Kite Fighters, embroidery from Seesaw Girl, and archery from Archer's Quest. Of the books mentioned, Park has received a vast amount of awards and worldwide recognition. Seesaw Girl is Park's first book. This story takes place in 17th century Korea, where girls of good breeding are not allowed to leave their home until they marry. To find out about the world beyond the courtyard, walls, seesaws were invented to catapult themselves high enough to peek beyond the walls. The story focuses on Jade Blossom, a young Korean girl who lives vicariously through her brother's adventures, until one day she ventures on her own. Seesaw Girl received a 2000 Bank Street Best Children's Book of the Year, among with other rewards. A single shard is set in 12th century Korea in a town called Chulpo, a potter's village famed for its delicate celadon ware. It is about an orphan boy named Tree Ear who is cared for by a disabled man named Crane Man. Together the two live under a bridge where they care for and tend to one another. Tree Ear, who becomes fascinated with men and his craft, watches him from a distance underneath a Palawinia tree until one day he tiptoes onto Min's property and accidentally breaks a piece. Thought to be a thief by Min, Tree Ear is beaten by Min's cane, but then is saved when Tree Ear offers to repay the piece in labor. What was meant to only be nine days of labor turns into a life-changing event for Tree Ear and the potter. A single shard won a 2002 John Newberry Medal, and along with it came a long list of awards that followed. 
Today, you will find Linda Street Park still actively writing, participating in conventions, events, and traveling. You can catch up on Linda Sue Park's latest events on her blogging page. Linda currently resides in upstate New York with her husband, their two children, Sean and Anna, and a dog named Fergus.